This is the Game 2 press conference featuring the Cowgirls of Oklahoma State. They're joined by student-athletes Cheyenne Factor and Carrie Everly. We'll start with Jenny Carlson. Hey, Cheyenne. A two-part question for you. Um, can you just talk through the, the home run? Um, you've had some batting struggles here lately. Just talk us through that one, what you saw, and if you knew it was gone. And then secondly, Kenny was talking a couple weeks ago about how rejuvenating um, last year was for you uh, to get the break. And I think he even said at one point, you said to him, hey, COVID, the break saved me. Wonder if you could talk a little bit about what transpired there from your perspective too. Uh, yeah, um, the home run, I, I mean, it's been no secret. I haven't been having very good at bats through supers. And my first at bat wasn't very good. And so, I mean, that pitch, he was kind of up, if I remember correctly, but I just decided to swing and not be defensive, and good things happen. And then, yeah, COVID, um, yeah, that was probably the best thing that could have ever happen to me, honestly. It was, I mean, I've never had a break like that, as no one has probably, but, yeah, it was good. I needed that, and this year has been really, really fun. Uh, Ronald Smith. Yes, this is Ronald E. Smith, and my question is for Carrie. At the seventh inning, it was getting it was getting rough out there with two runners on and a one and, and then becoming three two. In the moment when that was going on, what was going through your mind to help get you to focus to try to get the finish? Um, it really was just you need one good pitch here. You need one good pitch, and the second out is the most important. So if you can get there, then the defense behind you will take it home. And so I really just tried to focus and hit my spot um, and make the best pitch I could. Sam Hutchins. Carrie, uh, I'm curious, you know, just making your uh, first ever trip to the College World Series and the atmosphere was just so grand, I thought. Uh, tell me, what was your experience like uh, just getting to take it all in for your first time uh, there on the circle and getting the win? Um, I mean, it was amazing. This is uh, what I've always dreamed about doing, and to be able to be here with these people around me is awesome. Our fans were great today, and we're going to need them again tomorrow, and it's really just um, – an experience that you can't really describe, but it was it was awesome being able to be out there today. Robert Allen. Yeah, Carrie, talk about that sequence there in the in the final inning. Um, I know the air errors are always tough to deal with, but uh, were you ever phased, or did you always still feel like you were in command even when the infield was in? Um, I mean. Once that nine hitter, hole hitter got a base hit, um, that was on me. It was a bad pitch. And so I just had to come back and try and uh, hit my spots. And we just went, kept going out, out, out on that girl. And then decided on, I don't even know what count it was. I think it was full, um, to go inside and hit the spot well enough to jam her. And then the next pitch just went back to the bread and butter, which is um, – just uh, throwing ground balls, and Sydney did a great job, and so did Allison um, getting that play done. Marshall Scott? Yeah, Kerry, um, did you always know that you were going to start today? I, I'm not sure if things changed um, whenever James Madison ended up winning. Just kind of how did, how did your day go um, entering, entering the game? Yeah, I mean, I, that was the plan from uh, the – whatever they told me like three days ago. So um, I definitely knew I was getting the start and I was going to go as long as I could and just do the best I could for, for this team. Jenny Carlson. Hey, Shai, you were here uh, a couple years ago and when you guys were here. And I'm wondering, you know, now this year, uh, this experience, especially, you know, after last year gets – washed out does it feel different did it feel different at all for you obviously the upper deck today gets added for the first time you're playing in that what was just the emotion like for you to be back here um it was awesome I think it was like I was more uh calm this year like the first year like it was kind of crazy like we just got there there's so much going on and this year it's not that it's like oh I've been there but I mean like I've been there and it was 
just like almost another game, just with a lot more fans. Robert Allen. Yeah, Carrie, one more for you. Uh, you came in with Allison. Obviously, she's playing her old team today, and it was an interesting day for her defensively at first base. You know, she had a couple of boots, which kind of uncharacteristic, but her hit that, that got the, the extra insurance run. What, what were you, uh, what could you see from her today emotionally? Was she pretty stable? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I've been in her shoes before when we played Virginia Tech last year. I mean, it's always an internal, like, emotions that you don't usually feel when you're playing people you know and people you were on a team with for years. So, obviously, she probably was feeling that some today, but I don't, I mean, she went two, I think two for three at the plate and got the biggest run of the game in the insurance run. Um, so... I mean, she'll clean up the defense. I mean, she always adjusts, and it, it won't be an issue. And she did a great job of making some nice stretches um, like she always does. So um, she was she was still in prime uh, Allison form today, just just with a little hiccups here and there. But, but it's all right. We fought through it for her. Sam Hutchins. Terry, after uh, that Texas game that sent you guys here where you pitched a complete game, Coach G was telling us that, you know, uh, you'll pitch and you want to pitch complete games and you want to see what you, uh, see what, see out what you started. How important is it for you to finish what you started and uh, be able to complete the game? Um, I think uh, just being able to throw a complete game is always satisfying just to know that you um, were able to do it from start to finish. But if I ever felt that I um, couldn't get the job done, I would, I would pass it on to the next one because we got a great staff and but it's all about our defense and um, it's just really been a team effort and pitchers that are be able to throw complete games know how important their teammates are behind you and that's been like that all year long for me. Last one for our student athletes, Marshall. Uh, yeah, this is for either of you. Um, what did you think of Haley's throw there from, I guess it was technically still the outfield. Um, she's more known for our offense, but kind of what did you think of her throw? Well, let's go with both. So let's start with Cheyenne. I mean, I thought it was really good. She threw it on the run, and we work on that. Uh, I know she was telling uh, Carly to get out of the way because Carly was still trying to pick it up, and she was telling her to move so she could get it. And uh, I think she made a good throw on the run, and it was it was good. Harry? I mean, that was a huge play. Uh, the momentum really could have shifted there, but she shut it down, and that's uh, what you need and what you're asking for from her. And she – even had a great throw later in the game that um, a little bit earlier, she probably would have gunned another one out. Cheyenne, Carrie, thank you very much. Congratulations, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you. Now joined by head coach Kenny Gajewski, and we'll start questions for coach with um, Jenny Carls. Hey, Kenny. Um, wondering if you could talk about Cheyenne's homer. Um, obviously broke the, the uh, glass for you there, uh, and she admitted just a second ago, like, hasn't had the best at-bats of late and didn't have the best first one in this game either. What did you see in her in that moment? And you were talking a couple weeks ago about just how she's battled through things in the last year or so to see her have that moment. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was um, really – the at-bat was obviously huge. Um, the pitch before that um, – I, did, I just didn't like her swings, uh, like like you know, and and I think she said she didn't feel good her first that bad, and so I decided to put on a, a run and hit, which is kind of like a hit and run, except um, I'm kind of trying to get the the hitter to be a little bit more um, aggressive, and she swung at a ball down, and I kind of looked at, I thought to myself, I, I that swing is the one I want, like that one right there, and then the next pitch is the one she hit out, and. I went over to uh, Jeff when that was over with, and I just said, you got to help me remember at times when she's not going good, that we need to just get her in some action. And, and um, the action, I think, is what put her in a more offensive mindset and just what she needed. And this kid is really good. Um, she's, you know, like anybody, when, when you're going bad, it's, when you're not going as good, it's tough. 
Um, she knows that. She wears things on on her sleeve. She wants to come through, and um, it's been a grind the last couple weekends. But um, this is all it takes, uh, one good at bat, and you get going again, and then she gets a sacrifice bunt. Later, it's huge, and um, I thought she had a really nice day. And it's just good to see. You know, I heard you ask her um, – about COVID and all that, and I and I still feel like that. I think COVID um, was really good for her. Uh, it wasn't good for everyone, but for Cheyenne, it really helped her just to kind of maybe look through um, life and softball and everything with a different lens. You know, it's so, so, sometimes it's good to step back and look through a different lens and understand what you have and how to appreciate what you have and um, and uh, just put things into the better perspective. Ronald Smith. Yeah. Yes, coach. Uh, during, during, during that game, Carrie really performed a gritty performance. You know, she kept pushing and pushing when all the the runs, the runners kept going on bases, but she never broke. How impressed were you by her grit through that whole performance? I mean, it's what we see every day out of kick out of Carrie. She's given up four, three or, or four runs only twice this whole year. Um, so I'm not surprised. Um, you know, we had a couple unfortunate plays behind her. We had some really good plays behind her as well. Um, so Carrie's just Carrie. Like, she's just a grinder. She just never gives in. Um, I'm just uh, so thankful that um, she's on our side. And, and um, it's really cool to, to, to see her perform, her, her, her teammates uh, care about her. They they want to play well behind her. I think Allison's is disappointed right now as, as anyone fe feeling like she she cost her some extra pitches and outs. And it's softball. It's just part of it. We're playing on a dirt field. It's hard as a rock out there. It's windy and warm, and the dirt's dry. It just is what it is. And um, uh, I'm just uh, really um, happy that Carrie just continues to grind and doesn't point a finger. Just she picks up her teammates like they get her as well. Robert Allen. Yeah, Kenny, you mentioned Allison had an interesting day with the glove, probably uncharacteristic for her. How important do you think it was in her mind that insurance run that she punched in in the uh, in the sixth? Well, I mean, I'm sure she uh, feels really good about that right now. Um, but um, y you never know. Like, if we don't score that run, it does. I mean, their hitters may not have done what they did. It's just hard to look back. But I just think. Allison's glad we got this win. I think for her, there was some added pressure here today. She didn't let it bother her. You know, you think about the, these kids who were named All-Americans yesterday. There's some more pressure on these guys. And um, I just think Allison handled it very, very well. She could have melted down there. She didn't. I uh, went out to the uh, circle and tried to calm everyone down. And um, I looked at her and I said, hey, make the next play. That's it. Just Make the next play. Don't look back. Don't don't dwell on what's happened. Uh, make the next play. And she she looked at me. She said, "I'm I'm good." So, um, you know, was, that's all I had to hear. Sam Hutchins, coach, I can't see the bullpens like I can uh, in Stillwater. Uh, so I don't know if Kelly or Logan was warming up at any point today. But uh, I, I'm I know you told us uh, after the Texas series how much. Uh, it, how important it is that Carrie can go seven innings and she can pitch complete games. Uh, what went into the decision to let her speed out today? Well, uh, when John and I went to the mound in the seventh, um, I talked to the infield and I heard, um, I heard Carrie tell John that she was getting tired. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. Um, Cause she's pretty honest. Like she'll tell John exactly how she feels. And so we came as we walked back in. I, um, John told Kelly, um, Carrie's got this kid here. You have the next hitter. And, um, and so, uh, you know, I, I didn't know that Kelly was up. I, I knew that she was up early, but I wasn't sure if she was up late. So I looked at, I looked at Kelly as John told him that. And Kelly just was, Kelly just, okay. You know, and I was like, great. So I felt good about that. Um, and then when uh, Carrie got uh, the leadoff kid to pop up, uh, she looked right at John and gave him a thumbs up. And John and I just said, let's go. Let's just roll with her. This is her game. She's put us in this spot. Um, let's let her get us out of this. And, and um, uh, Or she's put us in the, the position to win this game. Let's let her win this game. 
Last one for Coach goes to Chip Towers. Yeah, Coach, uh, there are a couple of plays at the plate today, but uh, just uh, how big was the uh, throwout in the fifth inning? Uh, it looked like there was some hesitation from the Georgia runner, uh, which ended up being just enough, uh, just just to get her there. Uh, just add the significance of that play, obviously, in a one-run game. Yeah, I, I feel like I saw some hesitation as well, and I think that's why Haley was taking some, some extra steps. I don't know if she thought that she was going or not, and then when she went – um, I kind of got blocked out. I wasn't sure if Lou was trying to hold her or if she hesitated more. Um, but Haley may have the best arm on this team in our outfield. So when she comes up, like you heard um, Shy say, uh, we practice throwing on a run every day. Um, it's because it's going to come in to do a play at some point. She threw an absolute strike. Reagan was in a perfect place. No obstruction on that play. Um, and, uh, it was just a, a, a play that was huge and you look back, you know, and that's what in these type of games in this arena, um, you look back and that was, that may be the play of the uh, game. Um, she also had another play that she threw the, 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 the girl out of Reagan hadn't obstructed. And, um, so I think it shows you that she can really play out there and can really throw as well.